So we're just one day to tip off for the BAL Nile Conference. And honestly, I'm just excited. You can see halftime performance has been set up. These are everyone's gonna pummel there. So in the past few days, teams were doing their media day, just going going in there, going in there, getting those photos up for the for the gram. And I must say they're just awesome. And these graphics are just awesome. And also just seeing like, you know, teams just get in there. I've been just following through their updates on this. And I must say it's just it's just an awesome experience. I feel like teams uh, getting this uh, much uh, media like this is something that is good and gets people invested. So, but I feel like they should have done more because once the once the once the Kalari conference came to a close, there was just silence. There was no uh, that much activity until like days to the days to the Nile conference. So I was just expecting them to be a bit more proactive because this is just good. And these now these are very nice shots and majority of these shots I'll be using them on the videos that I'll be making. But the Nile conference is just presenting four teams. I know the City Oilers are there. So and Kalman Maluachi will be playing for the City Oilers in this time. I'm just waiting to see that one and full video analysis is just dropping and also we just talk about the whole dynamo situation for bubble got suspended and their basketball their basketball journey and their basketball teams that that are being governed by Febabu are just in jeopardy right now and I don't know what they're going to do they just I don't know how they're gonna you know operate from this but moving forward in the Nile conference we've got Alali Got Alali, the defending champions, Alali Benghazi from Libya, City Oilers from Uganda, and Bangu Sporting Club from the Central African Republic. So we're featuring a couple of players that we have seen ball out in continental games. You're seeing Solo Diabate there, Kalma Maluach projected, uh, number one, not even number one, but a lottery pick. I don't know why I keep saying number one. But anyway, he's a projected lotto pick. So we are waiting to see how he's going to continue playing. And also, also Bangu Sporting Club, we have Evans Ganapamo there. So it's just going to be awesome to see that. And hopefully we'll be able to see much more exciting performances. I know the Kalari Conference was just great, but I know tomorrow tip off, a lot of things are just going to happen. And a lot of things, we're just going to see a lot of changes and be stay tuned for game analysis stay tuned for that one and my god I, i'm just excited for this i i i really i really enjoy i really enjoy this i'm going to have a lot of fun with this and hopefully we don't have any incidences just like what we saw with the dynamo situation i really did not like what dynamo did and with that, with those actions, they costed themselves in the end. So, yeah, I mean, not much to say on that front. But if anything develops, I'll just make sure to keep you guys posted on what I, what I saw and the things that I saw there. So, if you guys like the video, make sure you leave your feedback down in the comments on what you think about this. And um, I'm out. Peace out.